19th century was the century of the UK. The 20th century was the century of the US. In my view, the 21st century is going to be the century of China. They are opening up. They one billion four hundred million people there. They did not build up gigantic debt like some countries, Japan, England, America, some countries. And now those people, those Chinese, the billion four hundred million, are back. They're smart. They're energetic. They're ambitious. They work hard. They save their money. China is the only country in world history that's been on top three or four times. You know, Rome was great once. Egypt was great once. Britain was great once. China has been great three or four times in history. They are the only country that, after being at the bottom for a while, has turned around after a few decades or centuries and risen to the top again. It's happening again. China these days also have its own challenges. Oh, everybody has problems as they rise, and China will too. Don't worry. But when you see problems in China. Remember the Mandarin word Wei Ji. We don't have that word in English, but you know the Chinese know because they've been around for centuries that catastrophe and opportunity are the same thing. In the context of intensified geopolitical and ideological tensions, globalization is facing increasing resistance these years.、Uh, to what extent are you worried about the trend to continue or even intensify in 2023? Well, I hope you're very worried. I certainly am. Throughout history, when people have economic, you know, problems with each other, they don't have to. But when politicians don't know what to do, they blame foreigners, and that makes it worse. Of course, they don't blame themselves. No politician anywhere in history said, "You know, this is my fault. I'm sorry." No, they say it's those foreigners. Those see those people with different hair and different eyes and different language. Those are the different food, different clothes. Those are the problems. That always happens, and it is happening. Washington, anyway, is doing it a bit more now. I wish they would not do it, but they think that's the way to get elected. China and America, for the past forty years, had great prosperity and progress together. It could happen that way again if people just stay calm and work together instead of shouting at each other. My view is, you know, we had serious problems. Now the virus is not completely passed, but it's getting better, and people are opening up. Inflation calmed down a little bit. The reopening of, of, of China again. Is going to make a huge difference. It's going to cause more demand, bring more products to the markets, to world trade. It's going to help a lot. Deng Xiaoping, he said, "I don't care if it's a black cat or a white cat, as long as it catches mice." China has been the most successful country in the world in the last forty years. It could happen more. If I were in charge, I would make it even more. I would open China more and more every week, every day.